Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Renew, a daily devotional for you. Today is June the 25th, Friday, and our Renew is entitled Work and Prayer Together. As you can see, we have my lovely wife, Miss Patty, and she's going to share with us from Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 18 to 20. For the builders, everyone had a sword girded by his side, and so built it. And he that sounded the trumpet was by me. And I said unto the nobles, and to the rulers, and to the rest of the people, The work is great and large, and we are separated upon the wall, one far from another. In what place, therefore, you hear the sound of the trumpet, resort you thither, unto us our God shall fight for us. Nehemiah 4, 18-20 I read a story about one of D.L. Moody's trips across the Atlantic to preach. During the voyage, a great danger arose as a fire started below decks on the ship. There were not enough members of the crew to make a chain to pass buckets of water below, so they were joined by the passengers to fight the fire. One of those traveling with Mr. Moody suggested that they go away from the commotion and pray. Moody said, no, sir, no. We stand right here and pass buckets and pray hard all the time. Moody often said prayer and work are the two hands of one person and they should never be separated. Prayer is vitally important, but it is no substitute for doing what we are able to do. When Nehemiah was leading the people in the work to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, they faced great opposition. The threats were so dire that they carried their weapons with them to the walls while they worked. They prayed often and prayed much, but that did not substitute for the time spent at work. God could have arranged things so that we wake up every morning with all of our work completed and all of our needs met, but he knows that we need this discipline of work and prayer. So he offers us his part and power while expecting us to do our part. Today's renewal principle the challenges that we face are best addressed by a combination of both prayer and hard work. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can work and pray at the same time and do your work and that you're with us in every endeavor. Help us to learn from this lesson today to get work done and pray as if it all depended on you and work hard ourselves. Thank you, dear Jesus. Amen. Today's renew verse is found in Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Have a great day, everyone. Have a great day.